All right, what is up, my friends? Look at the money video here on CoolStuffInc.com. Playing some Explorer today, of course, as Lord of the Rings is looming and uh, going to be very exciting and modern, very exciting and historic, but not quite here yet. And of course, Explorer is Pioneer on Arena. This deck is playable both Pioneer and Explorer. Uh, and uh, it's a really, really cool deck. I saw a little bit of a of this on uh, the internet, uh, the idea of using PNLR in a mono red deck. A new card from MPG Aftermath, which, which is the most recent set, but feels like forever ago at this point. PNLR, Console of Revival. Boros 2 drop. 2-3. Two, so decent sized stats here. Gives all your Thopters haste and says whenever you play a land from exile or cast a spell from exile, make a 1-1 Thopter. And of course, red is very, very good at playing cards from exile. And we get a whole bunch of that here. We get the 8-pack of Reckless Impulses. So, 2-mana Exile top 2. You can play them this turn and next turn. It's basically, 2-mana draw 2. 4 Rens Resolve and 4 Reckless Impulse. So, we have 8 of this effect, uh, which is pretty insane, honestly. Which is, you know, it's not quite expressive iteration, but it's close, honestly, in Monterey, which is great. Uh, and we also have Light Up a Stage 2, which is an excellent card in general. Uh, in a kind of aggressive burn deck that also gives you more ways to Exile 2. Bone Crusher also gets played from Exile 2 as well. Uh, and you only really need one or, two, one or two Thopters for this card to be excellent. You know, make two Thopters off this thing, it's insane. Even one Thopter's fine. And we're here just playing a bunch of super cheap cards, honestly. I mean, realistically, you can go like this. This costs one. This costs one. This costs two. That's your mana curve. These all cost one. These all cost two. And that's it. And uh, a bunch of lands, aggressive cards, prowess cards uh, here. So Spear, uh, Soul's Guard Mage, cast a lot of spells. But you get this free, which is super cool. And Cyborg gets to bring in uh, some running volleys against the the, the white and red white and blue creature decks. Uh, Decoration of big creatures, invasion for Thoughtseize effect, showdown in the grindy matchups. If you're gonna go big, also exiles cards as well. And um, it's a deck, honestly, kind of straightforward. It's a pretty cool deck using a uh, using kind of a new card here. It looks pretty sweet. Let's give it a spin. So let's get right to the games. Brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Alright, on the play. I mean... Got to keep the one lander, one drop, light up a stage hand, I guess. This things can go horribly wrong here, but we're going to keep. We have play of fire, I guess, to scry, too. Worst case scenario, so. Got to keep here. Uh, hand has huge potential, obviously. I remind you, of course, there's a companion article to this video on CoolStuffInc.com. Do a written article every Friday and a full video article every Monday. Last Friday's article was my love-hates for the new Lord of the Rings set, which is very, very exciting. Going to be legal and modern. Legal and Historic, and then also going to be a draft format uh, on Arena, in paper, and at the Pro Tour, which is pretty sweet. So, pre -order, you can pre-order your Lord of the Rings cards now. Use promo code JIM5% of your order, and you get a, uh, a new Goblin token. My new Goblin goblin Shaman token is uh, is out and ready to go with those Lord of the Rings pre-orders. So, check them out and uh, get your free token. Dark Boar Pathway Thought Seas. All right, thank God. So, so Spear lives, we keep one of our life stages, and we're ready to rock and roll. I haven't taken two. So, and we're happy we didn't mulligan, because obviously mulligan into a thought seize feels pretty bad, so. Take Skewer the Critics. That is a very bizarre choice. Uh, sure. Alright, so. Life stage with a land. We, we find it. All right, sure. And then play Kamano. Just say go here. It's pretty good. Obviously, the post-combat prowess is a little awkward, but we found our land, which is great. Now we have Pia, which is great. Looks like they're playing green, black, something or other. Next creature we play is bigger. Um, so that's the Fatal Push, but... Um, we could also just, like, Impulse here or Light Up a Stage... Saving Pia is, like, pretty appealing, because obviously Pia is pretty good later in the game. We don't really need a counter on Pia to make Pia good. Um, and we could always draw one, uh, hit a one-drop and a land. It's kind of a, a bit of a stretch, but... Um... We're going to Impulse. Never want to hit a land here, obviously, but... 
We hit land skewer, sure. I think we... We could, like, light up a stage, try and find land four, so we can go Pia plus spells. Yeah, I like that, actually. Let's see light up a stage. Draw twos for days. We get land, firebrand. And they're going to Grizzly. Oh, they're, they're a, a Grease Fang deck. Okay. Well, if they uh, if they have it, we're taking a lot this turn. But what can you do? Land out of the Veil, sure. Not Grease Fang. Happy Those day. Who get in my way tend to <laughs> All right, you draw a... So you go... We can go Pia, play land, get a Thopter, and we could deal damage and Skewer, or we can just play Firebrand and get a Thopter, and actually playing Firebrand here. We lose the Skewer, but I think it's fine. Pia doing her thing. We'll finish off this, I suppose. Alright. I mean, don't draw Grease Fang, I guess. <laughs> salvage again, great. So they got lucky they hit the Power Helion off of the uh, the Salvage, but unlucky they couldn't bite a Grease Fang. Which we'll take, you know. In comes four running volleys, and I think we're off to the races here. Um, we're going to cut probably the Firebrands and the Bone Crushers. Um, many interest in Invasion or Shadow of the Scalds. Obviously, they're kind of grindy, but they also comboing, so running volley answers that. Um... Maybe you have enough draw twos, we don't really need to grind, so I think it's fun. Let's play this like this. Alright. Uh, hands good. Let me keep this. Opponents on the mulligan. We've got one drop into Pia. Alright, uh, we're gonna shock in here. We're gonna shock it at some point anyway, so just take our uh take our love immediately, make it easier to cast Pia. Here comes the spear. Will they have a push or no? Answer is or no. And now we're in the kind of awkward spot where they play lands, they go. And if they have Grizzly Salvage, bin a Parahelion into Grease Fang, we lose. But I just think you can you can never leave up Running Volley here uh, because they have to literally have the Grizzly Salvage, has to be a Parahelion in the top five, and have the Grease Fang, and have the Untap land. So we're just gonna play our spells here. Attack for one, play land, play Pia. And if they, if they have, if they run off the perfects, whatever. Um, most important thing in a spot like this is to figure out, um, you know, are my odds better of winning the game uh, of them having that, or me skipping a turn, basically, to try and leave this card up for the rest of the game, you know? It's just more, it's just too devastating, so. They fire off a push, which is great. So now Pia's a lot ready to live and ready to go. We don't have any uh, thing to do with Pia yet, but you know, we're gonna play Grease Fang with no uh, no thingy. We're gonna untap and draw, draw another Pia. That's kind of crappy. We're gonna main. Um, I mean, I guess we're gonna running Vela. We could uh, we could play. A, I should have probably upkeep play a fire and skewered this actually. Might have been a mistake, honestly. That's fine. Play a fire then. Talk our advantage. Don't want that. And then we'll um. We'll skewer this. And now they can't possibly have Grease Fang and Parahelion in the same turn. Let's stab as I go. So, hands a little thin. Looking to draw one of these uh, draw effects, hopefully. Light up stage or resolve Orbis. They play a Chariot. Alright. Trying to go the old fair route. That's fair. Uh, pretty bad draw. Alright. Well, we are... Uh, Floundering here. Can't find one of our 12 draw twos. So we are um, about to be on the receiving end of an Asegas Chariot. Running Volley, no good here, obviously. Nothing. Let me draw another land. Okay then. Well, I guess we're playing Gigantha. <laughs> I guess the Pia can attack, right? I guess defending against these two juices isn't that bad, though. They crew. Eh. They have, like, a Sky Sovereign or something. That's pretty ugly, but... This will attack. All 
All right, buddy. Can't fail push this one. There's the old Giganta boy. Ready to block this chariot. Like a hero that he is. Not the hero we wanted, but the one we need right now. Giganta the Wellspring. Friggin' 5-5. Five five. Love to know the stats on how many uh, times Giganta like, affects a game. It's a lot more than you would think. Freaking Colossipede. Eight mana Colossipede. They're going to Wither Bloom command. They're going to mill over some stuff. Make this a 2-4 and then go for an attack. Sure. You got me. Uh, no blocks. Didn't hit any of Parahelion, so... We got Soul Mage, but we are not drawing very well. Uh, Alright, here's Soul Scar Mage. So they go. We have Sokazan up. Currently have the answer to the 2-2s two and the 5-4-4. The four four. They're going to crew, though. They're coming in. Alright. I mean, this means they probably have another cherry, I guess. Sky Sovereign. Sure. Alright, that's bad. It's funny, I actually have two Legends in play. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Kind of an embarrassing game here, so we just cannot find a freaking way to, uh, do much here. I should have tapped for mana, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so they kill this. They have five 2-2s. Two we can just draw one of our 12 copies of Draw 2 with our Pia in play. That'd be super awesome. There's one. Alright. How do I want to find one eventually, right? So, Impulse into Play of Fire Impulse. Love it. Impulse. Into land, land, okay. Um, land. Make a Thopter. I'm just gonna kill one of these two twos, honestly. Make a Thopter. No crew, which is interesting. Um, this is pretty funny. I'm gonna attack. Um, they could crew and block, and then I'll rending volley my own Pia. All right, they're gonna—they just, they just didn't even like didn't even hesitate. Sure, I mean like they're obviously threatening to lose. If I have a, if I have any other burn spell here, they would just shrink this and kill it for a terrible exchange for them. But I want to kill this this boat, so we're gonna we're rending volley our own Pia. We have a second copy anyway, so this doesn't feel very good, but isn't it is? Suppose they have a grease thing in their hand. This is pretty bad. So that was a that was definitely a risky play on my part. Uh, and they just yeah, obviously. All right, sure. We're gonna punish for it. I mean, I just didn't think they would block honestly, and they didn't didn't, didn't have any hesitate. Uh, and now we're just dead. Yeah. If I had left the uh, the running volley up, we win this game probably easily. But not easily, maybe. But yeah. All right. I guess they win. Uh, pretty gross. Yeah, so we kill the Grease Fang, and then we're probably fine here. Alright, that's an ugly loss. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll take responsibility for that one. Uh, perhaps give my opponent a little too much credit um, as far as, like, thinking things through. And they just, like, just called and blocked. Which, with Grease Fang and Hang, probably was right anyway. Uh, but, you know, we had a running volley. Didn't really use it right, so that's fine. That's alright. No problems. Game three. Just trying to make it exciting, you know? Trying to keep things interesting. And it's great. Eh, great stretch. But we can keep this. Vessel of Nascency. Alright. Double bugbear, but they can't they can't play Kpia. That's so awkward. Alright, sure. Play Pia Sig. Obviously they have a kill spoiler, it sucks, but we have a resolve and we have a bending rally bending rally also, which is kinda cool. Play resolve. We find the land. Um Again, we're in the spot where they can look at the top four. If there happens to be a power helium in the top four and a grease fang, we get punished. I think I just go for it though. Again, yeah, same thing. Just gotta put things in play, you know. If they spike it, so be it. All right, friend, do you have it all? 
They also have double skewer too, so. And they reveal Chariot, Rave Enfeeblement. They actually can't take any of those? This vessel's only... Vessel is artifact, creature, enchantment. Oh, they want, they want to keep it in the graveyard, sure. So they're gonna, they get the fire up Grease Fang here and get to Chariot me. I guess it's like not great, but... Not the worst, honestly. We have a bunch of skewers. We draw a Swiss spear. Okay. Um, I think we just jam here. Try and entice a block. We got Rending Valley on the Reese Fang if we need it. We got double skewer to go into the face. Would rather use skewer on the Reese Fang and hold up the Rending Valley for a future Reese Fang, but. Gonna double block the Pia. Sure. And they're gonna go for the block on the, uh, the cat. Okay. So we'll volley here. Prowess. Kill that. Trade off here. Deal much damage. Uh, play a land, skewer face. And so you go. They play land chariot. We get flyers ready to go, Pia ready to go. Got bugbear down here also. Another Swiss spear. Alright. Just like Pia Swiss spear, so you go. To hold the skewer. Um, triple prowess here is pretty good, honestly. So just hold the skewer. Also, they also they don't want them to know what life they're at. So they're effectively at four and very close to dead. Downside is if you draw it on tap land, then I want to go bugbear, but I think it's also fine. So second chariot. I think they should have probably crewed and sent the first in, honestly, right? Type stage. Sure. That plays, I think. Um, let's cast Skewer, then cast Light Up Stage. I guess the loser's dead. I don't know, I'll figure it out. We need a land, obviously. I think a land spell would be ideal, but. Prowess, prowess, prowess. We get land, land. Okay. Makes a Thopter. Then our attacks are putting them to one. If all of these come in, as the fear is that I die in the backswing, I'd be trading these with. I, lo I lose one to a chariot, double crew, lose one to a double block, and then trade off a, a thing. So I would kill two cats, lose two, lose all three. It's pretty bad. Yeah, we'll strike out in the air next turn. Alright, you're up. We miss a point anywhere this game? Mm, we'll find out. We have the bugbear too, so we were super wide here. Three lethal attackers in the air. I think we're good. Tight game, but I think we're good. Even with the Wither Bloom Command gaining two life. I said we kill one of the things, but I have a, another topter here too, so. I think we got this one. Cool. And opponent agrees. We'll take it. Close match. Definitely game two. Might have been on me there a little bit, but that's okay. On the play. All right. Uh, hand's a little sketchy. Uh, only one creature we're going to keep. It'd be pretty hard to evolve his hand on the play, honestly. So, give me Ray, give me Soul Scar Mage. Hopefully, uh, we can get through here with a, a shot into a light up a stage. Obviously, we have play the fire lamps if it's necessary, but they're going to end the bugbear. Sure. Um, just stack. All right. Light it up. Oops. Not that way, this way. Light it up, and we see a Kamano and a Skewer the Critic. So, pretty easy Kamano. Hold Pro's Combat Prowess, a little awkward, but we got Life Stage again next turn, Skewer next turn, Play with Fire. Ooh, they are uh, the Rakdos and Rakdos mid range. A. 
Another Kamano. Actually, a pretty good draw. Because that turns all my, uh, my what's it called stuff. They're probably going to kill this, obviously, but let's play a land. Let's play Kamano. Please stop me. I want you to stop me. I really do. I would really like that a lot. Alright. Deal one. And we're going to, I guess, light up the stage. We want to get Skewer too, but... I imagine we're going to Fatal Push here, you know, but... You get another light up the stage. Alright, we're trying to Skewer. I don't, I don't want to lose Skewer, so... We have play a fire at hand if I gotta start things up that way. I also have a 2 2 coming as well, so. Do you have the push? Better not push here, it's freaking dead, too, so. Go for the throat. Ultimate price, heartless hack, whatever. Doom Blade Variant, number four, number five. So we have a 2 2 coming. They're already 14. Hands juiced. He's just stomping them and casting light up stage is fine, also, so. Here's a fable. Sure. Gonna give me a prime stop target. Alright, like that. Pretty easy to stop this. Get over two cast light up stage, and hopefully you can find a uh, find a land. Nope. Play with fire, skewer the critics. Uh, but I guess we're just like drowning in resources, so we don't care that much, so. Big Fable here, probably. Even if they play a shield, we can just freaking kill it, so. Definitely nice to be playing a red knight that can draw a lot of cards against a mid-range deck. No shield root. Flipperoni again. Um, yeah, I mean, just fire up the firebrand, I suppose. I guess they have a Muta Vault, which I can just kill, but let's see what they do. About to unleash the beast here, so. <laughs> Play Shieldred's Edict. Alright. You got me. Here comes the crew. Here comes the crew. Gotta play these so they go away. So. They're gonna fire the Muta Vault. Alright, so. Trade here. And we're going to deal the damage. And then we're going to skewer them. And then we're going to skewer them again. Put them to a precarious dead on board, even through a, uh, a shield or something like that. That wasn't bad either, honestly. They had removal spell into fable into removal spell. It's pretty good, you know? Not the best hand ever, but obviously fine. That's not bad. A little trespasser action. Okay. Does make our attacks a lot more awkward. It makes the reflection better, too. Let's put them up to four life, so they are currently still alive. I'm going to attempt a comeback trail here. A soul scar mage. Alright. Um I guess we're gonna have Bone Crusher and play with fire the reflection and just keep playing magic, I suppose. No dub yet. Can't go face here. We gotta stop the reflection because it'll just copy the uh trespasser and gain a whole bunch of life, so we'll just take out here. It does feel nice to be drawing to a lot of uh a lot of card draw. Say go with fifth land up. All right, let's have and draw an impulse like that. Don't like double land. We're just gonna buy Giganta, I think. Um, even the Bone Rusher attack just gets blocked by Hive. Or they just keep Bone Rusher back to block his Glutton. So. And Gigantha, honestly, against them isn't the easiest to kill. Uh, they have to, like, have a go for the throw or something like that, so. I'm just gonna say go. Yeah, no point attacking and trading, a trading my Bone Rusher for a land, so. They just wasted five mana, which is awesome. Uh, 
Play land. Say go. Friend resolve. Okay. Same exact scenario as last turn. I'm just gonna play a land, play Gigant, then say go. And now we're just like in pretty good shape. Honestly, we got draw twos, a bunch of mana. They have the go for the throw for Gigant, though. Sure, you got me. We can, we can make it uh, make a day next turn also, which is like, I guess relevant but not super important. One, it's actually only. Uh, I'm sorry. I I I just assumed there was, there was actually zero creatures in the band for most of most of his time. I kind of just missed that honestly, but that's fine. I guess these things happen. All right, so on tap. Hello. I screwed up. I should have played the resolve first. I just got excited. I got excited. That's, now, now, now I can kill this before I can play any cards off of it. So I would have guaranteed at least one Thopter. Yeah, I screwed up. I just got excited. I'm sorry, folks. Happens sometimes. I'm going to go for the uh, Desperation Blood here. I got a feeling. It's going to land. They don't kill P here. Uh, Alright, yeah, they, they drop the Sure. So, good draw for them. We screwed up. Uh, wanted to play the Resolve first and then play the Pia. Because then we'd have a um, a chance to play a spell before they could kill it and get at least one token. We didn't do that, though. Found another one, though. So, pretty easy game. Uh, just play Pia and say go. And, yeah, we just say go. Kind of, like, impulsed, I guess, and maybe held the Pia again. But, I mean... You know, they have one card in their hand. I think we're fine. Goes back to day. Our board's great. Even if they kill the PO, we still have an impulse and a soul scar mage anyway. So, this card's great. Really good card. Bank Buster. Uh, perhaps a little late to go to the bank here. Oh, they're so dead. All right, sweet. Ban and standard. All right, this is the turn. Make a Thopter, uncapped. How about we make another Thopter, and then perhaps we make more Thopters. <laughs> Pia goes. Pia definitely goes. How about five Thopters? Is that enough Thopters for you? Is that good? Cool. Draw a card off Bankbuster resolves. Resolves. Soul Scar Mage. Make a Thopter. Alright, yeah, whatever. Alright, so Leroy, attack with everything, you're dead. That was a sweet game. Other hand was not like great, but but pretty good. And we uh kinda just trounced them. Pia, PNLR showing her true quality here. So, Rakdos midrange. Hmm, this is definitely a showdown spot, I think. Kind of awkward because we want to have answer to Shieldred, but like Declaration and Stone's pretty bad against them. Uh, Bone Crusher's fine. I think we just try and overpower shield or we can just like double up on two, two burn spells to kill it. Gotta cut one more here. Um I could just cut a land and a draw, honestly. Cutting a land and bringing a showdown is kinda weird, but we have a lot of draw twos, so we're gonna thought these anyway. Like I wanna keep all the draws. We can kinda like shade like a skewer, I guess. I guess we wanna have the skewers to like we need to double up on two spells to kill a shield, so I'm just gonna land. I don't think we need for a basic. Let's try this. Declaration of Stone is definitely not great. Uh, in Pioneer, you have Chain to the Rocks. We don't have, have access to that card yet, so. One lander with light up the stage and four one drops. We gotta keep. Swamp go. Alright, don't love that. Alright, so pay two. 
The problem is if we Kamano, we can't light up a stage next turn. But this is like almost assuredly a, a fatal push. Play creature and it just dies. It's same thing anyway. I'm just gonna play Kamano. Let's try and draw land. So good, we draw the land. All right. Um, so play a spear. They fatal push it. Play soul scar mage. Kind of awkward because we can't really like finagle it any better. I could like play soul scar at the counter. Play land so spear attack for one, and then maybe that gets a point in. Eh. We understand. I get the idea. Sure. Play Soul Scar. Say go. Maybe it's better to try and do it that way. Oh, hello. What is this? Now he's your land work. Great shape, I think, so. They have Fable. Great. Great stomping spot. Fire up field stomping grounds here. Oh. Uh, I mean, stomp attack is, like, obviously fine, but I'd rather... I'd rather just cast Light Up a Stage. I'm just, I'm just gonna shock them and cast Light Up a Stage. And then, obviously, if we, so if we can find a land in our top two, we can cast Skewer on this. Uh, bottom that. Light Up a Stage. All right, uh, not ideal, but fine. Giving the mana off goblins pretty tough. They might want to trade here too, though. Okay, that worked out. It's fine. There are twelve. We have two draw twos, a couple of burn spells. If they play shoulder. We can kill it with these two burn spells and the stomp, I guess, too. We're trying to find somebody to do that. They're gonna stop themselves. Okay. And a land. And a bank buster. Alright. Draw showdown. So we gotta play uh impulse here to find a land. We do find a land. We're gonna pay two. And I guess just uh, play a fire them, honestly. Look for land number four. Uh it's a Swiss spear. Eh, we're gonna ship that. They're gonna have Bone Crusher in play. Probably gonna flip fable for a land for switch for showdown, I think. Ride the old showdown train, it's a good train to be on. Well, hello then. I think this dead Brahim are dead. Then we missed main land up this game. Eh, should maybe we're gonna land was bad, I don't know. Alright, now we're at ten, now we're at eight. And there is no time to cast a shutdown of the scalds. Uh, yeah, we're dead. Okay, that's fine. Next game. Uh, I'm gonna put a land back in. <laughs> that's a little greedy on my part. Put the land back in. We gotta shave something. I'm not sure what it is. They're on the play now too. I mean, Bone Crusher is like not great against them, but it is a little some good value. Uh, come on, oh, shape play with fire, I guess. It's how many shocks do we need? You know, Travis. Old Shelly. Old Shelly. Excuse me. All the what? We're going to keep. Uh, I don't love it, but we're going to keep. Turn to Red Resolve is not the most exciting play in the world, but we got a lot of juice here, so... Yeah, sure. That's fine. Probably gonna die, but... I guess, actually, you know what? I can play Ren's Resolve and then play Pia plus land next turn off the thing, or wherever I draw. I like that better, actually. Let's play Resolve. 
We hit Kamano and Skewer. That's pretty awkward. Uh... So, if I go P plus one of these, I lose that on the other one, but I get a Thopter. I can't do that. So we're going to Kamano. We're going to Skewer. Should actually probably... Skewer here and say go. So not cool. Definitely wanted to land there, I think, but we have shutdown lineup too, so it's pretty good. Here's Trespasser, it's pretty good. Alright, we got a game. Uh God, this is so awkward. Um we play PA here, it's a 3-4, but we can't use its ability at all. I just gotta resolve. This is just, but I can't I can't resolve, play the cards for PA, it's just like super awkward, but whatever. Gotta make a land drop for showdown too, I think. Yeah, we drop a land. Um, I think we just foundry tapped and say go. See what happens here. We might or might not cast this. Might hold it for PA, might just cast it and play showdown, like, We'll see what happens. Actually, no light to be gained here, so that's pretty sweet for us. Okay, so now we're going to hold this to kill Shielded with. We have Skewer, Play of Fire. Um, yeah, so we're going to untap, upkeep, shoot them. Keep the land. Oh, I screwed up. I should have used this play of fire. Ah, now I can't pee it. Oh man, I messed up. Sure. Very non-intuitive to use this. The not. Yeah, you can, whatever. Sure. All right, screwed up. That's fine. Thank you, dude. Uh, play land. And yeah, we could have gone Pia, Skewer, Play of Fire, killed this, made it to Nithis. I, I missed the Thopter. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, let's play Pia anyway. Play of Fire here. Skewer here. This exiles it. We got a 13, attack them down to 15. I mean, next turn, we should have the Scalds going. So, if this lives, we're in phenomenal shape. If it doesn't, as long as I recast this, we're in good shape. So. No thoughtsies, please. Let's pressure on them to get this out of my hand and also kill the Pia. The two in concert will win us the game for sure. Not for sure, but pretty good shape. That's a good sign. That's a pretty good sign. The old desperation blood. Never a turn starts with a blood or a clue, you're usually pretty happy. Ugh. All right, sure. It's fine. Still have showdown. There are no other creatures to take out, so. Don't you dare thoughts ease me, I swear. I swear. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Stop. Sure. Alright. So spear. Um, could Suspear first, obviously. And Muta Vault. I guess I want to do that. Alright, big showdown. Revealing. No land. Oh, just a bunch of, a bunch of draws. Oh my god. Alright. Um... Where's a PO when you need her, right? That extra Thopter would be really nice right now. Be an extra chump blocker, too. Maybe that might... Hopefully it doesn't cost us the game, but it might. The 
down to six. Play bonus. All right. I think we gotta start, sorry, I just gotta start casting resolves. You can't resolve a second showdown here. We need to do too, too much stuff to stay alive, so. Let's play an impulse. Okay, I can't run this thing. I have a push too. Oh my god. Unbelievable. I thought they'd be immutable. Never mind. Land resolve. Alright, so let's play the resolve from the showdown. Land Bone Crusher Giant. This is getting extremely awkward. Um, right now, Old Sifty is a 3 4. They have a Muta Vault. I have a freaking Shock Land. I'm about to lose. these two cards guess if I attack nah because they have a mutable too I can like skewer the critics this but then they just kill me with that so yeah I think we're just like holding on to a prayer here I think unfortunately this kind of sucks just say go They even have the push, too. Oh, my God. All right, whatever. All right, that game stunk a bit. Uh, that Thopter would have helped out a ton. I'd have two blockers right now. And could have maybe stabilized all these cards. Uh, but unfortunately, that was just kind of a, pr that was a pretty big brick on the showdown. We needed some action, which we just got all draw. It's unfortunate. But, yeah, that was the breaks. All right, let's rock and roll. Two lands, one drops, Priya, light up stage. Couldn't ask for more, except for the die roll, I suppose. Winning there would be nice, but um, hand looks great. We're going to keep. Old Gigantha hanging out. Just a buddy. Soul Scar, Firebrand, Suspear. And we're probably going to... I don't know, let's see what they do. Swamp. Long pause. Go. So whatever you play here is probably going to die. Um, I think we're just gonna firebrand. Play firebrand. Try their removal spell. I guess like maybe if we play a spear, try and get them to not kill. I'll right, see what happens. Oh, they have thief guild in Forge. That was the uh, that was the trick. All right, sure. So we got mill over rent resolve light up a stage. Little rogues action. Fatal push, excellent. Shock in, turn on my light up stage, and thought seize. Damn. So pretty good drop. Triple one mana black spell. Imagine P is our best card here. Honestly, he's going firebrand and one drop to kill this. It's pretty good too, though, so we'll see what happens. Three cards left on their side, and they're already at 15, which is pretty cool. Long tank comes Thoughtseize. Takes the light up a stage. Cool. Alright, so we draw a play of fire. We're gonna go land. I wanna kill the enforcer before it mills more cards. Uh so we're gonna go. We could soul scar or so spear. I guess we'll soul scar. We're gonna soul scar. We'll take the no attack this turn for a possible attack next turn with this thing. So just go soul scar. Firebrand. Take off the Enforcer and Sega. No Lurus for them. Oh, yeah. It's, wait, is, is Lurus Bandit? Bandit is, it is Bandit. It, 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 it's it's Explorer. It's, not, it's legal and a Stork. Uh, it's easy to mix up, obviously. But That Fatal Push. Great. Uh, P is still kicking here. Uh, nothing to do with P yet, so we'll just play Sister Spirit Attack, honestly. So Spirit Attack for one, play Soul Skirmage. 
Another Enforcer. This is going to put the last two cards in the graveyard. Okay. Um, we're going to play a fire this. We have, only have two cards left. Just want to get our damage in and not trade here, I don't think. So. Our deck's full of draw twos. So, it's kind of interesting that we're the aggressive deck. We can go long, too. Play third land, say go. Um, if they were to play the 1-3 flash... I'm just not going to attack here, I don't think. I'm just going to play... Play PM, play uh, Soul Scar Mage. I'm just going to play this land first, though. Might have a Drama Lock here or something like that, but then we can attack safely, so. Sure. Alright, so we are out. Uh, out of cards. They only have one card, though. We have Gigantha, and again, we have seven draw twos and lives. So we have nine draw twos in our deck currently. That's great. Or lands. Lands are cool, too, I guess. Um, this attack is, like, a little risky. I'm just going to attack. Like, they have, a uh, the flash creature here. We kind of suck, but, sure. That's the exact card we were scared of, so. Honestly, a, a scary block if I drew a spell there, but sure. So they, uh, they work us over with the, uh, the, the case card. But we're still in pretty good shape here, I think. Attack for two, mill some cards, sure. We draw another Pia. I mean... It's a fresh card, I can't not attack, so they have it again. I mean, it would be pretty awful for us, but sure. Play Pia. P -p -p Pia. And step Fairy Mastermind. That is a rogue. A 3 1. Mill some more cards over. Down to 7. Play land, sure. We draw Kamano faces Kakazan. Um. I mean, obviously we're racing here. We're about to stack for five. I mean, they're going to be at five. We're going to be at seven. Uh, we don't have lethal. Technically, they're going to let us both draw. Wow. So we draw down to the bugbear. Obviously, we have a bunch of huge draws here. Any burn spell is phenomenal. Mastermind, gonna go in for three. Mill some more cards, yada yada yada. Milled over two heaters there, fortunately. Main deck Nighthawk Scavenger has come to play. And that will end the game for us, unfortunately. Main deck Baneslayer. Uh not cool. Not not cool at all. Uh yeah, they got us. Alright. That's tough. We're gonna, we're gonna have a weird game. Very low resource game for sure. All right, sideboarding. Unfortunately, Rending Volley doesn't kill a lot of their creatures. Um, and we kind of need an answer to these, uh, I don't know how many how many they're playing, but Nighthawk Scavengers. Uh, I don't love the idea of Declaration in Stone. I would say Bone Crusher Giant is not great here either. Um, honestly, none of our sideboard cards are great. Rending Volley doesn't kill enough of their things, I don't think. I'm just going to stand pat, I think. I think we should be favored here, honestly. I think that our aggressive start should line up well against them because their car their creatures are kind of smaller and stuff. Uh, but that game just didn't really pan out for us. They had uh, kind of all the good answers all the right times. Try it again. Ghost in the machine. Um, it's kind of tough, actually. So we have the Kamano. We have a draw two, two spectacle cards, and a bone crusher. I can't mulligan this though, so. No creature to utilize the chapter two of the Kamano, but just gotta play it, I think. Kamano number two. That can cast light up a stage, so. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Unless they have a spell pierce. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Alright, sure. I'm going to play this on red, because we have all red cards in our hand. Frickin' Spell Pierce. Thoughtseize. All right. I mean, again, double draw twos, so... Take light up stage. All the old effects, you know? When we first came out, they were all about the good effects. Alright, so... 
I guess we're gonna Ren's Resolve here. Just resolve it and uh, try to find a land for Sisphere. So we hit Firebrand and a land. I think land Firebrand's fine. Hack with three, so there you go. We got some Burning Hand, Haste Creature. Probably gonna hold this skewer for that lifelinker. We draw a Pia. Alright, let's play Sisphere. Attack with everything and threaten Bone Pressure Giant. There's an Enforcer, which will only be a 1-1 one, once one. they have, we have over two draw twos, jeez. I don't mind a block here, I think it's just fine. We're not going to play this again, play this again, this uh, drown, I don't think, so. Going to block the Swift Spear. And play another Enforcer. Okay. Um, this is Mills 4. Now he's with 3 2. So now we're going to stop the other one. We'll, we'll take the trade. We'll just deal four, deal 3. Trade. Good exchange. They're 11. Feeling decent here. Again, I'm going to hold the skewer uh, for the Nighthawk Scavenger. We draw another land. Um. Freaking flash creatures. All right. I think just Kamado goes in by itself. They have a flash 3-2 or a flash 2-3 perhaps. I'm going to cast Bone Grusher. Uh, they're probably going to counter every, every play here. I think P has a little more value. And then if I draw a land, I can go P and buy a Gigantha. So. I should drown, sure. Rogue's one of those decks that just like looks so good when it wins, but doesn't always win, obviously. Back with Simple, sure. We'll just go down here, I think. Here's Pia. Here's Impulse. They counter this, it's annoying, but we have to attack for three, which is fine, I think, and we're pretty wide in the board. Double to spear. That's awkward. Alright. Just the etchings. Again, same idea playing around the two three and the three two. Mastermind, sure. Pick that one off, I think. This game's looking pretty good. Uh, if we untap PM play with jam bolt these and make two thopters also, and the game is over. So. I mean, obviously not ideal, but we just freaking yeah, we're just I think we're just uh, I think we're just through through and through here. Another impulse. Prowse, prowse. Land Pia. Yeah, you're super dead. You're super dead. Alright, cool, we'll take it. Alright, cool. That's more how I think things would go, honestly, if I had to like guess on the matchup, because I feel like we just get under them. But now they're on the play, of course. And that can change everything. Again, I don't think we really change much in sideboarding, so. So be very careful with our skewers and try and keep them available for the possible lifelinking rogue. That is an ugly hand. Uh, pretty hard to ever keep five lands in this deck, so Mulligan. Sure. Uh, keep this. Just gonna ship a land. Pretty awkward. No two drop. Uh, but so, the old, the old Mulligan thought sees not so nice. Take Kimono. Scrybug comes to the rescue. We might actually want to hold this for light up a stage on turn two. I'm gonna do that actually. I'm just play a tap land so I go. Uh, we have no creature to play for chapter two anyway, and I think resolving life stage is pretty good, so. Draw an impulse. Yeah. Play come on up. Let's see if they counter it. Pretty gross. 
I'm sorry, actually. They pain landed. It's so because they pain landed, I can now cast Light Up Stage. <laughs> Uh, Firebrand land, perfect. All right, now I'm feeling a lot better about this game, honestly. So, they play a Thieves Guild Enforcer. I can probably kill it with the Firebrand. They're gonna cling me to their own card, sure. Land, go, sure. Uh, I mean, I think we're gonna land Impulse. No, I'm just gonna land Firebrand. Pay two. Play Firebrand. Attack with Stomp Up. I think we have this, but... Here's a Soaring Thought Thief. Sure. They have a Spell Pierce here. It's kind of nasty, but... Don't Spell Pierce me? Damn. Alright. I mean, sure. It's pretty gross, but alright. Pretty hard to play around Spell Pierce and Soaring Thought Thief there, you know, we can't not attack another red deck, so. Shock and a land and just say go, sure. Here's an impulse. So Spear Soul Scar Mage, sure. Did put the eighth card in the graveyard, unfortunately, but I think we're gonna spear than not attack. They go and the next turn will impulse again. Get some prowess triggers, get that game on. They did shock, so here's a hard cast brazen borrower, making it a 4 1. Very aggressive. <laughs> 11 to 13. Pretty aggro play there on the borrower. Um, we're going to reckless impulse. Hit impulse, skewer the critics. Damn. That is a sweet earth. Alright, so... Impulse again. Soul Scar above pressure. Alright, it's so just attack by Soul Scar Mage. Set up for a huge turn next turn. I'd be very surprised if we died next turn. I guess it's possible, but... We're gonna make them have it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess if they had, like, Flash Creature, untapped land, they're going to see double and copy their... Oh, that actually does it. 4, 8, 9, 10. They, they, they need to land. They need an untapped land. They can, oh, they're sure, they, have, they actually have the, this thing, too. Oh, wow, that's insane. This card's busted up his deck. Holy crap. Damn. Uh, color me impressed. See double. Did not see that one coming. But it's... Yeah, you got me. All right. Um, we could have skewered the Brazen Borrower and played it, played it safe. I guess, I mean, if I knew this card was in their deck, I would have uh, probably done that, honestly. But uh, that's a really, really spicy one for this deck. C-Double. Kind of cool to see a new addition to this Rogue's deck. Yeah, they got us. We're dead. So, all right. GG's. All right, so obviously not the most impressive set. Uh, we, we, we did go one and two. Uh, Pio was very, very good. I think it's going to be a bit of a challenge with this deck to find the right mix of, of a card drawing, exile effects, uh, as along with the rules, spells, and so on and so forth. I think with tighter play also, I might have been able to sneak out a 2-1 there. But overall, I'd say I had an impressive deck, even though the results of the small sample size weren't great. Uh, a lot of cool things happening here. Obviously, the red cards are just fine in general. Just, you know, they should be a good, good model red deck. And then the Pia, when it works, is great. And when it doesn't work, it's a freaking 2-3. Whatever, you know. And honestly, even though I failed to do it in the game, it's not too hard to get at least one Thopter off Pia, even if they're able to kill it immediately because of the way, the way priority works. So I missed that in the game, but that's what I think you can do, obviously, too. And uh, deck sweet. So could try out Chandra. Obviously, Chandra uh, dress, dress the kill. A few options as, as well uh, on multiple fronts. But definitely a cool deck. Definitely worth giving a spin in Pioneer or Explorer. And... Um, that's it. Up next, Lord of the Rings, folks. We're doing 10 new brews for Lord of the Rings, 5 modern decks, 5 historic decks. My Cool Stuff video next week will undoubtedly be some Lord of the Rings, uh, something or other, and uh, that's pretty freaking sweet. So look forward to that. I'll see you then. I'm Jennifer's at CoolStuffInc.com. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.